quadric surfaces. Oh boy, we're talking about three-dimensional conic sections. And in order to talk about these three-dimensional conic sections, we should probably go back and talk about conic sections themselves. Yeah, there are some standard conic sections. Why don't we go ahead and we'll take those. The first one we're gonna look at is uh, y is equal to x squared. Oh, for sure. We know this thing to be a parabola. Let's go ahead and graph that now. It's a parabola opening up on the y-axis, this being your x and that being your y. Okay, the next one that we're going to take a look at is, uh, sure, x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Yeah, that's a circle. We can even go and modify that a little bit further. If we modify that further and make it a little bit more general, <clears throat> if we put x over a and y over b, and have those guys being squared, so if we have x over a squared plus y over b squared, this thing is an ellipse. Let's go ahead and draw that now. Sure. You go out a far on the x-axis, and you go over b or up b far on the y-axis, and down b far on the y-axis. I guess these is minus b and minus a. And then that's your ellipse right there. And there's another one, another one from your conic sections, your conic sections. Something like x over a square minus y over b square is equal to 1. Yeah. This conic section is a, a hyperbola. A hyperbola. Let's graph that guy. Let's graph this guy. This is your x and that's your y. If I'm taking a look at this hyperbola, I go over a far. I go up and down b far. The same distance on either, either side of the axes. I draw my box. Then I draw in the diagonals of that box. And then I determine which way my hyperbola opens up. It opens away from the minus sign. The minus sign is on your y variable. The minus sign is on your y variable. So it opens away from y. So your hyperbola looks like that guy. Yeah, your ellipse looks like this guy. Is that how you spell ellipse? Hmm. And your parabola looks like this guy. And that's a summary of conic sections.